Katja Carvey. Thank you, Presiding Officer. Over a decade ago, the first budget concession the Greens ever won from the SNP was the Climate Challenge Fund. Since then, it's funded over a thousand communities across Scotland, helping them waste less, switch to greener, transport, grow food locally, and much more. We've been hearing of communities losing their grants, and this morning, the ferret reports the true scale of what's happening. Total funding at its lowest ever level, funding for new projects slashed in half, and scores of projects which were recommended for grants turned down. That includes South Seeds in the First Minister's own constituency, where three members of staff have been made redundant, and tens of thousands of households and residents won't get the services they need. Now that the First Minister has declared a climate emergency, why is the government sacking our first responders? Minister. Well, the Climate Change Fund is uh, the only fund of its kind in the UK, and I think it is important uh, that that is the case. Uh, there are always a large number of applications for the fund. I know how competitive it is from the example of South Seeds in my own constituency. Uh, 22 new projects were funded this year. It's important to point out, though, that that is in addition to the 65 uh, projects that were funded last year that now have a second year of funding and uh, the total spend uh, this year will be £8 million. Uh, pounds. Uh, the total spend across 2019 to 21 will be uh, more than £9 million. Pounds. And of course, the Climate Change Fund is part of the overall Sustainable Action Fund, which uh, has seen an increase in funding this year. Uh, that said, as I have uh, stated in the Chamber in recent weeks, all of our policies require review in light of the report of the Committee on Climate Change, which has led us to increase our emissions targets. And that will include looking at the role of the Climate Change Fund in supporting communities to play their full part in tackling climate change. Patrick Harvey. Well, the, the Government has started a review of this fund, but then pulled the rug from under people before that review is finished. And the budget as presented to Parliament included funds for this scheme. We would certainly not have approved it if it had set out this cut. Last year, this fund helped 65 new projects across Scotland. This year, it's just 22. And 43 of them, 43 projects recommended for approval by the Independent Grants Panel have been turned down. These aren't just numbers. These are people. These are people committed to taking climate action and being leaders in their communities. Projects are being abandoned and jobs are being lost. Look, when the Greens criticise the government for handing cash to the fossil fuel industry or the arms trade, the response is jobs, jobs, jobs. Will these jobs matter too? This is a serious mistake. Will the First Minister step in and replace the lost funding for the communities that have been affected by this cut? First Minister. Well, I do think these are important issues. Uh, and just to reiterate a point that I think uh, was lost uh, there, that uh, the 65 projects that were funded last year also have funding in this year. The 22 are over and above that. So as I said a moment ago, the total funding this year uh, is £8 million. Pounds. Yes, we have to look at all of these things in light of recent developments around climate change. And I give an undertaking to the Chamber today that not only uh, in terms of uh, the Climate Change Fund uh, or the wider Sustainable Action Fund, which this sits within, which has had an increase in budget this year, that we will look carefully at all of these things and so, so that we can be satisfied that we are living up to our responsibilities. 